Hallelujah. This is the Dikai Mary of the Dikai Mary's Ministries. I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is our show. Our new show. This is your miracle. The Almighty want to give you a miracle. He want to intervene in your life. By the way, before I begin, my friend Dion Deramos Ingram has written a book called Format or Format. It is about the story about how to intercede for your city. This is about this is this is the story is based in the city of Detroit in the United States. Dion and Rick are great supporters of my ministry. They are part of my inner circle. <laughs> so go to Amazon, Banks and Nobles, etc. and look for this book for dot mat. Look at it. Let me bring it closer to you so that you can see it. Hallelujah. This is how the back look like. And that's the picture of uh, the young right there. So go and look for this book and get a copy and read it. The young and Rick, we will be doing some work together also. The husband, Rick, the young's Deramus Ingram's husband, is a musician. Yeah, they are based in Detroit, Michigan. The son too is into music. Let me pray for his music. The son's album um, has come out. Father, I anoint that album even before they post it to me. I anoint it. I also anoint this book with the power of the Holy Spirit that it will go into every home around the world. And I anoint their son's music and Rick's music too. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let me share something with you. The Almighty has called me and chosen me to preach the gospel of His Son through the demonstration of His power. I am calling you to support and to contribute financially, materially, and giving me ideas that will also turn out to profit you because I'm here to profit you. I'm here to benefit you. So I do ask you to quickly go to the internet and type in Edekai Mary's Ministries. There is a yellow button that says donate. Go there and contribute to the work of God in our ministries. You can also send money order, real money order, real check to me at PO Box 12474, Wichita, Kansas 67212. Wichita is W-I-C-H-I-T like Tom, A like Apple. Send me your prayer request. I am here for you to consult for your benefit. I am here for your family. Write to me. Call me. My telephone number is 316-765-0060. 316-765-0060. And my email is Edikai Mary 2000, that is 2000 at gmail.com. I'm waiting for you. Don't die with your problem. I'm here. The Lord has equipped me to do His work. And I'm here for you. Today I'm speaking to you on Mary. To love. You get married in order to love. Not to cry. Not to be sad. Not to be bitter. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 we read. And the Lord blessed Adam, Adam and Eve and said. Be fruitful. Multiply. Fill the earth. Subdue it. Have dominion over it. Have dominion over the fish. In the sea, the fowls in the heaven, the fowls of the heaven that, that fly through the through the sky, and over every living thing that moved upon the earth. 
married to love. How do you love in a marriage? It's only if that marriage was based on truth and trust. Truth and trust are the primary ingredient to keep your marriage in a state of laughter. Truth and trust. If there was lie and if there was unbelief and doubt, don't continue in a relationship about to become a marriage. If you don't trust the man, if you don't trust the woman, if you don't believe them, then you have no business being in, in a marriage. Because you only marry to laugh. You marry to be happy. You marry to be joyful. So many marriages are going through kwashaka, are going through diarrhea, are going through headache, are going through cancer, are going through all manners of sickness you can name on this earth. Why? Because from the word go, it was not based on truth and trust. You lie and lie and lie and lie. When are you going to begin to tell the truth? You doubt. You doubt the man. You doubt the woman. You doubt your family. You doubt everything. Why are you in it? The word said, be blessed. What is the meaning of being blessed? Blessedness contained in it the ingredient of truth and the ingredient of trust. If you are not somebody that trusts, that find out the data, the fact, because truth is based on fact. Truth is not based on easy belief. Believe me, believe me. That is not what truth is about. Truth is about, yes, I believe you, but I am going to find out whether what you are telling me is truth. But you find out from heaven, by the Holy Ghost, and you find out from people. Hallelujah. Many of us are so lazy that we do not know how to verify things, how to find out things for ourselves. So you ask somebody before you have your marriage, do you, did you have a felony? Oh no. Did you do this? Oh no. And at the end of the day, you find out what you were asking is the truth and they were lying to you. It's true. Some women, you ask them, do you have a child outside marriage? No. Have you ever had a kid? No. And later after marrying them, they begin to bring the children that they have sent to their mother or to their father or to their family members. They bring them and they begin to tell you why. They did not want to lose you, darling. Tell me ahead of time. If you tell people the truth, it will help them to trust you. If you are afraid that they are going to leave you, at the end of the day, they will still leave you. You marry to laugh. You do not marry to cry. You do not marry to be bitter and sorrowful. God does not take any joy in your bitterness, in your sorrow, in your heaviness of heart, in your quarrel and complain. Now, before you begin your complaint, find out the truth and see whether you trust. You marry to laugh. How do you laugh in a marriage? It's only if the marriage was based on the truth and trust of that person's productivity and creativity. When that person tells you this is who I am, that person is who he or she says he or she is and not somebody else. Oh, I have to turn so business and you find out it is the truth. Oh, I used to have such and so business. Such and so thing happened and you find out it is the truth. I am not silly. I am not lazy. I am not suffering from lethargy. I am not suffering from procrastination. I believe in God and I believe in me. I believe that when I set my heart to do something, I pour all of my detailed heart into it and it worked out for me. And that is the truth. You are only going to laugh in your marriage if it was based on truth and trust. 
you look at that person not when well, not when you are dating not when you are courting and the person make fast move piam 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 go to her his or her job do things do that uh, do that operate computer be big uh, begin to fake courtesy fake smile fake laughter fake everything and when you go in finally I sat back one day and watched a friend's wife she was taking off her braid I and my friend we sat there watching that woman looks like a witch <laughs> my friend said I didn't know that you look like this in reality without without all the attachment <laughs> man you look old I said shh she better go quickly and have her hair braided so that you can have her the way you saw her. <laughs> I wanna see you the way you look the way God created you. If you are bold, let me see the boldness and see whether I love it. In my culture, love means love means what I have seen. I like what I see. That's the meaning of love. There is no name for love in my culture. Love simply means my eye is open. I am not blind. I am watching every of your movement. I am trying to see whether I like the way you really look naturally. I want to see whether I like the way you talk naturally. You are only going to marry to love if it is based on truth and trust. Let him see the way you are. Let her see the way you look. Don't be hiding your, yourself your real self you take off all that cosmetics and he wake up in the morning and look at you and like whoa <laughs> you take off all those nice suits and she take her first look at you and say wow I didn't know this is how this man looks if you want to do manage marriage manage marriage good luck to you because i know there's nothing like luck <laughs> i'm not here for manage marriage i'm here for the real thing the real deal and the new deal the real you that's what we want don't try to fake the way you think yeah 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 and the man begin to talk whoa whoa whoa, whoa. and at the end of the day both of you are chicken. When real issue comes up in your marriage, both of you chicken out. You are only going to love, to marry and to love, only when trust and truth is allowed to reign. Put your hand in my hand and let me pray for God to give you the courage to begin to tell the truth and to begin to find out whether you trust or you doubt. Father, remove fear from my brothers and from my sisters. Give them the courage to begin to tell the truth and to begin to trust. Some of you who are watching this video, you don't trust nobody. You trust nobody. By the way, let me seize this opportunity to thank you, my friend. Andrew, Andrew in Malaysia, want to seize this opportunity to thank you. You are a good friend. I really love you. You are a great guy. I want you to send your, send my big hug to members of your family in Malaysia. God is coming to visit you. The day you watch this video is the day your victory begins. Mark my word. Same thing to you, those of you in Denmark and in Europe. Your victory begins on the day 
that truth and trust begin for you. Father, give them the ability for truth and for trust. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Call me and let God through me begin to deal with the problem in your marriage and in your relationships. Don't die with your problem. Amen.